Yeehaw stays at Howard Johnson, home of the Wednesday Clam Fry, just $2.99. All you can eat, y'all come. That's all. A verdict in the River Villa case, FBI Director Kelly makes an apology in the second in a series of reports on life in outer space. Those stories and more coming up next. Love American Style, Monday through Saturday at 6 on Channel 11. A new car should be something you're proud to be seen in, like America's most successful new car, Ford Granada. And right now, during your Northland Ford dealer's spring into summer selling spree, you'll get a great bargain on any Granada. He's stocking up so you can get great deals now on any new Ford you choose. They're all built with pride and sold with pride right here. Spring into summer at your Northland Ford dealer today. That's why up here in the Northland, your Ford dealer is the one. If you're big on little cars or any other car, join the move to Michelin radios. They cost less than you think. We don't make a second best. Chicken with herbs a la Bill Shatner. Mouth-watering, but that's not the best part, I promise. Glazed carrots a la Marcy Shatner. Tastes divine, <laughs> but that's not the best part, I promise. The best part is both can be part of a total dietary program to help lower serum cholesterol. We made both with Promise Margarine. Promise tastes like butter and is high in polyunsaturates. So it can be a delicious part of your plan to help lower cholesterol. Promise. promise. This is WTCN-TV, Channel 11, the Discovery Station. Good evening. In the news this Saturday, astronaut Buzz Aldrin admits he's an alcoholic. Minneapolis police break up a juvenile burglary ring. We continue with our series on the possibility of life in outer space. The verdict came in early this evening in the River Villa case. Co-defendants Bertram Strimling and George Hedlund were found guilty of all six counts against them. Charges against Strimling and Hedlund, the former owners of the River Villa nursing home, centered around a kickback scheme. They were convicted of pocketing thousands of dollars in inflated invoices, siphoning funds from River Villa, then defrauding the home. The jury of seven women, five men, had been deliberating since shortly before noon on Friday. Judge Patrick Fitzgerald said there would be a pre-sentence investigation with sentencing set for June 8th. There was no comment from either Strimling or Hedlund, but their attorneys promised they will appeal. Public input from citizens and organized groups was heard today by state DFL members as they prepared for their party convention in Duluth this June. Meeting at the Prom Center in St. Paul, state DFLers heard recommendations on issues and changes the party should consider in its platform. Copies of the recommendations will be mailed to state convention delegates and alternates 10 days prior to the state convention, June 4 through 6. DFL State Chairman Rick Scott said he wants to see as much citizen involvement as possible before the meeting of the full convention. Meantime, independent...